a game that doesn't need any cards or tiles at all. It's called Cricket Bop, and you can play it right now. First, let's practice. Put both feet together and do a little hop. Go ahead. That's great. Now I'm going to sing a song called the Cricket Bop, and I want you to hop around in a big circle. Keep hopping till you hear this sound. Then turn around and hop in the other direction. Are you ready for the cricket bop? Well, all right. Hop to the cricket, do the cricket bop. Hop to the cricket and do not stop. Hop and circle, go round and round. Hop the other way when you hear this sound. Now turn around and go the other way. Hop to the cricket, do the cricket bop. Hop to the cricket and do not stop. again. Only this time, we're going to play tic-tac-toe. You know how, don't you? All you have to do is cover the pictures in the same row, up and down or across. It's easy. Take a bingo card from the pile and put it in front of you face up. That means so you can see the pictures. Now spread all the picture tiles out. Put those face up too. Name a picture, like my sneaker. If you have a sneaker on your card, find the sneaker picture tile and put it there. Understand? Great! I knew you would. Now let's get ready to play. Do you have a bingo card in front of you? Are the picture tiles spread out so you can see the pictures? Okay, let's play. The first tile I want you to find is the cookie. If you have a cookie on your card, find the cookie tile and put it there. The next picture is the cupcake. The next picture is the skateboard. The next picture is the comb. is the teddy bear. The next picture is the apple. The next picture is the birthday cake. The next picture is the guitar. The next picture is the bird. picture is the football. The next picture is the picture of me, Cricket. The next picture is the butterfly. The next picture is the skate. The next picture is the fish. The next picture is the books. The next picture is the tricycle. And the last picture is the sandwich. How many rows of three did you get? 
Don't forget to count up and down and across. Next time you play my tape, you'll have another chance to play cricket tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Just make sure you choose a different bingo card. Now let's play another game of cricket hunt. But we're not going to play with colors this time. We're going to play with beginning sounds. You know what they are, don't you? Every word has a beginning sound. It's the first sound you hear. Take the word sandwich. The beginning sound of sandwiches is also the beginning sound of sneaker and of skate. How about the word cookie? Is the beginning sound of cookie? No, of course not. The beginning sound of cookie is and guess what? K is my most favorite beginning sound of all. Can you guess why? That's right. It's because K is the beginning sound of my name, Cricket. And it's also the sound we're going to look for on our Cricket hunt. Here's how we play. Put all the picture tiles in front of you face up. Now when I say hunt, you look for any picture whose beginning sound is k. I already gave you a couple of hints. Do you remember what they are? That's right, cookie and me cricket. See how many more you can find before I say hunt's over. Okay, ready, steady, hunt.
more fun than playing croquet, cause you don't need a wicket. Put your cricket on the board, hop goes the cricket. Everyone you know in town will want to buy a ticket, to watch it hopping up and down, hop goes the cricket. You're not supposed to drop it in, you're just supposed to flick it. If you really want to win, hop goes the cricket, hop goes the cricket, hop goes the cricket. Have you ever played a card game called Go Fish? Well, I made up my own card game, and it's called Cricket Fish. It's fun. You can play it by yourself or with a friend or two. Here's how. Put all the picture tiles face down. That's the fish pond where we'll go fishing. Now take six cards from the pond. If there's anybody else playing, give her six cards too. Now turn your six cards face up and lay them out in a row. Now we're ready to play Cricket Fish. Look at your cards and if you have a picture of something to eat, it could be a cookie or a sandwich or anything else. Go fishing in the pond for two more cards. Next turn, look at your cards, and if you have a picture of something you can wear, like a sneaker or a skate, take two cards. Next turn, if you have a picture of me or my little brother Corky, take two cards. Now listen carefully to this direction. If you don't have a picture of a birthday cake, put back one card. That's right, put one card back in the pond if you don't have a birthday cake. Let's do another one like that. If you don't have a teddy bear, put back one card. Now if you do have a picture of something you can ride, Go fish for three cards. Next turn. If you have a picture of any kind of animal, take three cards. Okay, get ready, because this is the last turn. If you have a picture of something that starts with a B, take two cards. Fishing's over. Now you get to count up all your cards. Go ahead. How many fish did you catch? If you played with somebody else, whoever caught the most fish is the winner. But don't worry, we'll play another game of cricket fish real soon. over and we'll have some more fun and games.